Welcome to this unit, Understanding Accessibility. The training materials for this unit have been created by Marcel Bobeldick, President of the European Federation of Hard of Hearing, in short, IFO. Rachio Bernabecaro from the STI München, Wim Gerbex from Velotype in the Netherlands, and myself, Aida Regel Poulsen, IFO Secretary General. I'm Danish, have short blonde hair, and wear a pair of glasses. I'm hard of hearing myself and also use a pair of hearing aids. Professionally, I am a former educational audiologist and hearing consultant for school children with hearing loss. IFO is a federation of the national organizations of hard of hearing people in Europe. We are based in the Netherlands and represent 82 million hard of hearing people across Europe. We are also an active member of the European Disability Forum. As for our unit partner, SGI München, they are based in Munich and are one of the first academic institutions in Germany that provide training for real-time interlingual subtitlers. SGI München also has extensive experience in curricular design for both vocational and educational training. This unit aims at introducing basic concepts about accessibility with a focus on the end uses of real-time interlingual subtitles. The unit has three elements. The first element introduces basic concepts such as disability, accessibility, multimodality and universal design. The video lectures and additional training materials will enable you to gain insights on what these notions are and how they relate to the job of a real-time interlingual subtitler. The second element revolves around the end users and their needs. Through the interviews and video lectures, you will be able to gain a greater understanding of the needs, expectations and culture of persons with hearing loss. Lastly, element 3 shows you how accessibility can be embedded in the working environments of real-time interlingual subtitling. The video lectures and training materials will also show you how real-time subtitlers, also called speech-to-text interpreters and live subtitlers, can support accessibility. This unit is a basic, more theoretical unit, so we recommend you to start with it at an early stage of the training and to combine it with some practical exercises from the velotype or re-speaking ones. We hope you will enjoy it.